What is up, guys? Welcome back to week seven of the NPL, the league we're not actually in, but are playing for somebody else for. So uh, you might be asking yourself if you saw the last battle, well, where was week six? Uh, Rob's week six opponent and himself decided amongst themselves to uh, postpone their game till the end of the season when Rob's back uh, because they actually wanted to have their match together. Uh, so I respected that and I said, you know what, guys, it's fine. Do it. Uh, we'll just skip week six for now. You guys will have it later. So we're skipping right over to week seven. And this week we are taking on Cypher Blocka. Uh, I'll try to leave a link to his YouTube in the description. He has a much bigger channel than I do. A um, couple hundreds. So uh, definitely check him out if you haven't already. He's got some pretty good content. He's a very good player. And um, I didn't bring up the... Uh, let me actually bring it up on my phone here while I'm talking. But I didn't bring up the, um, uh, the, the team uh, that he has. But I'll, I'll do that now. Uh, the full team as you can see he's rocking uh, we're over there on the top i'm going to switch that when we start the game but he has a combination of heatran tentacruel noivern umbreon mega gallade and celebi most of which i actually expected to come and as you can see our team is uh, very similar to our uh, previous week's team week five uh, with only two mons different um, so we have arcanine this is a uh, an assault vested arcanine with flare blitz bulldoze e-speed and close combat uh, Rob and I worked on these sets together, and uh, ultimately I decided to bring Florgis over one Mon that he had selected, and uh, you guys are going to see that comes into play. Uh, we had Nido Queen here, um, Galvantula, uh, Greninja, Mega Scizor, and of course the Florgis that I mentioned before. So now I have uh, the team open here. My opponent uh, had a chance to bring uh, Noivern, Thunderous Incarnate, Conkeldur, which I was actually really scared of, Mega Gallade, Tentacruel, Ambipom, Celebi, Umbreon, Gliscor, Heatran, and Beautifly. Um, <laughs> but he brought these six, and uh, right away, right off the bat, I'm like, okay, uh, is Heatran's going to be a little bit of an issue to deal with? If I can get up webs, which my Galfantula has, of course, and if I can... Um, if I can get up rocks with Nido Queen, then I can actually baton pass the Swords Dance from Mega Scizor into uh, into our Arcanine and just sweep up his entire team. Yeah, I can pretty much kill everything at that point, including the Umbreon, including the Gallade. Uh, the Tentacruel is close, that's why I need rocks up. So uh, basically, going into this game, I'm like, okay, let me lead with Galvantula. Let me do the obvious thing and just lead with my Focus Sash Galvantula lead. You guys will see right here. And uh, we're going to switch sides. So I decide to lead with Galvantula. As you can see, he leads with Noivern. Uh, now, turn one, I'm just going to pause it right here. Turn one, I'm debating between three moves. I can either Thunder and potentially para this thing. I can... Uh, you guys see Drew on the right over there. Drew decided to sneak into our game uh, and watch it. I posted it in the NBA chat, but um, Drew is actually replacing one of our coaches in the NBA. Th shoutouts to him. I'll try to leave a link to his channel as well in the description. And uh, no, my channel is not PG. I just refrain from swearing myself as much as possible. Sometimes it slips out, but when I have people on, I don't like try to keep them. At the beginning I did, uh, but then I realized, you know what? Uh, I don't want to restrict people from being themselves, so let them say whatever they want. Uh, so he says, kick his sorry little ass, Aster. <laughs> awesome. But uh, so turn one, I'm, just, I'm debating between Thunder to try to get a para or hit anything on the switch uh, like Tentacruel or uh, Heatran. HP Ice to get damage on this thing or Sticky Webs. And I calc the damage and basically his Hurricane or Draco, whether he specs or not, will always bring me down to Sash. So it's not going to give me any intel if I attack. If I get up webs this early, he can still spin them away with Tentacruel, and he has a lot of opportunities too. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's just uh, let's just attack this Noivern that's in front of us. Let's see how much damage we can do. I know that an HP Ice does not knock it out because we are timid. So let's see. He misses a Hurricane. Turn one. I'm like, okay, cool. I get to keep my Sash. Bring him down to the uh, to 21%. Very unfortunate for Cypher, but we're going to take advantage of it right here. I decide to go for uh, a double here into Florges because our Florges is our response to Thunderous Eye and to Noivern. Even if it's Specs, we are specially defensive. I double out into, uh, into Nido Queen here, expecting, like, Stealth Rocks or something like that. He actually goes for Earth Power, which does a lot, and I'm like, okay, this is scary. I do not want to stay in here. I need my Nido Queen around. I need to get up those rocks. I decide to switch out into Floor just. I'm like, okay, what's the Celebi going to do to me? Swords Dance, Nasty Plot? Decides the Nasty Plot as I go for a Wish. I'm like, okay. Uh, let me go out into my Galvantula here, because I live a hit anyway, and I can threaten this thing out with a Bug Buzz. I'll get back a little bit of health from the Wish, which will help out later on. It'll allow me to live with a uh, rapid spin, of course, which is always nice. As I do decide to go for the webs right here. So we get them up, and I threaten this Tentacruel with a Thunder. So uh, I actually miss it, as you can see, but he decided to stay in just a rapid spin. I'm like, okay, 
Let me thunder again and try to get a para on this thing or try to knock it out. He goes into his Heatran. Boom. 50%. Cannot stay in on me. Go for another thunder. Hope we hit it. It's 91% because of compound eyes. We hit it on the Umbreon. No para once again. That's fine. Uh, I'm just going to get up my webs again at this point. As he reveals that he has Snarl to lower my special attack. So very good play allowing Bug Buzz to not be able to two hit KO him. It wouldn't have either way. But now knowing that he's Snarl... I switch out into my Needle Queen, knowing that I can take the hit. He actually decides to go for Wish. I'm like, okay, he's probably going to try to Wish Pass this into Noivern. So I go for the Ice Punch here as he stays in. You guys will see that the Snarl would not have knocked me out from the range I was at when I switched in. And we know that we are faster. So at this point, he doesn't have a Wish online, so I go for Stealth Rocks, keeping his Noivern from ever switching in again as long as we knock out this Tentacruel. He switches in his Tentacruel, and I forget that this thing gets Clear Body as an ability. And I'm like, oh damn, its speed isn't lowered. My Needle Queen is uh, is built to outspeed a Mega Gallade at minus one speed. It has 243 speed, so I'm like, okay. Well, if he spins here, we knock out the Tentacruel because we are a physically offensive Needle Queen. Yet another thing that I can uh, Swords Dance Baton pass into. If he chooses to knock us out, then we will proceed to go into uh, in, back into our Galvantula and threaten this thing out with a Thunder again. Once again, nothing switches in on it. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's just sack our Needle Queen right here. Let's go for the Earthquake. And it turns out his Tentacruel is actually slower than our Needle Queen, and we knock it out with the Earthquake. So that means that our webs and our rocks are here to stay. And now he goes into his Mega Gallade. This thing is not Mega Evolved, there is no chance in hell it is outspeeding me, I go for the Earthquake, I have Cal Shadow Sneak, it was not taking me out, I just want to get up as much damage as possible on this thing. He goes for a knockout, uh, knock off, knock, knocks out Needle Queen, but as you will see, Needle Queen gets quite a few kills this game regardless. Our uh, floor just comes in, Moon Blasts, we are faster than this Mega Gallade, once again I was shocked, I was like, okay, he's not running enough uh, speed to outspeed me. If you guys heard Skype, sorry for that, uh, it's running on my browser right now. He goes into Heatran, and I'm like, okay, I'm specially defensive, I'm gonna Calm Mind. He's Life Orb, he's gonna be killing himself. Does 37% with a Flash Cannon to a specially defensive floor just after a Calm Mind, and I was like, whoa, that did a lot. I go for a Wish here, because I know that he can't two-hit KO me from this range after Leftovers, and I also know that I'm faster than him from the two previous turns, and Psychic will knock him out here. We're running Psychic specifically for the Tentacruel this week. He goes into his Umbreon on my Psychic, and I'm like, okay, whatever, I'm getting my Wish this turn. So I'm like, all right, let's see just how much this Moonblast is going to do. Here I'm thinking he's going to Snarl me, try to lower my special attack. Uh, he instead goes for a Wish. And I'm like, okay, well, nothing can switch in on me. Celebi is going to take a good amount of damage. It's going to get the health back, but I can keep Calm Minding on it. I go for another Moon Blast, and I knock out a Zumbreon, which is the biggest threat at this point. Here's where Needle Queen gets two more kills. He switches in Heatran, dies to rocks. And then he switches in Noivern, and it dies to rocks. So, for whatever reason, if Celebi was able to come through at the end, he wasted Differential there. Uh, so that was not the play. The play was to go into Celebi directly. He goes for a Nasty Plot. I'm like, okay, I'm going to Calm Mind up one more time alongside him because I'll be able to hit him pretty hard with a Moon Blast, maybe 40, 50%. Keep him low, allow U-turn from Greninja to knock him out. I go for Moon Blast, does 71. I was like, whoa, calm down, Florges. This guy goes for a Psychic, does absolutely nothing, and we are able to take the victory for Rob, 5-0, which puts him at a positive differential in the NPL and puts him at a 3-3 record, so he is back on track to get into playoffs. If we can keep this up, we can make him get into playoffs, guys. This is pretty exciting. I didn't think I would be able to pull this off, uh, especially with the high level of competition that there is in this league, and the fact that this is not a team that I drafted that I'm necessarily comfortable with. But it turns out, Rob happens to have quite a few Pokemon that I do enjoy using, uh, and am very comfortable with, so... Uh, this looked a lot like a UU team between Florges and... Uh, Nido Queen, Galvantula, and Arcanine, but a UU team was able to pull it out for us right there. So, uh, good game to Cypher. Uh, he played the best he could with what he had left. Uh, I don't understand the sacking of Heatran and of, um, of Noivern right there. If he got a crit on my Florges, I pretty much had to play around with his Celebi recovering up every time I went for U-turn. It was slower than my Arcanine, so I could technically go for a Flare Blitz and then go out into Greninja and knock it out with the U-turn afterwards. 
but anyway, uh, again, good game to Cypher. Uh, thanks, uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, uh, be sure to hit that, hit that like button down below. I'll leave a link to Cypher, to Drew's channel, and of course to Rob's. If you haven't checked them out yet, definitely do. Uh, we, uh, you're, you're, you're gonna have no choice but to check them out at some point because uh, we're gonna be starting an LP extremely soon together. The graphics are almost all done. We just need one more, which is the thumbnail for our episodes, and we'll be ready to go. We're both playing a game that we really haven't even touched yet, so this is gonna be really, really fun. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Again, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.